absence of body hair for both men and women in media should not be the norm. Video games, movies, TV shows, cartoons, commercials, music videos, etc. Males and females both are always absent of underarm hair, leg hair etc. Body hair is natural. Kids out there, SMH, I've heard a prepubescent boy telling a newly pubescent girl she's a boy because she is growing hair on her legs. I grew up hearing similar nonsense. What is unnatural is the removal of this hair. People are getting all twisted because companies want to sell shaving supplies which are super cheap to make and sell. Love who you are hair is beautiful. Edit would like to include modeling. Cartoons don't draw body hair because it would make everyone look very hairy. You have to learn how to put details in the right way. When I was a young lass, I tried to do detailed art, so I drew the red veins in people's eyes and make the teeth yellow and crooked. Instead of looking realistic, they just looked creepy. My favorite are the women's razor commercials where the lady shaves an already hairless leg, underarm, or bikini line. Nothing like watching a post-apocalyptic TV show and every female character is running around freshly shaved with no makeup makeup. Cartoons and art don't necessarily need to be realistic. I'm an artist myself and my drawing doesn't need to be very realistic. Also post-apocalyptic show where the men have beards, but they're perfectly trimmed beards and somehow get their chests waxed. And the ladies are just hairless. Who are these post-apocalyptic aestheticians? Because they are making bank. Please remember what subreddit you are in, this is unpopular opinion. We want civil and unpopular takes and discussion. Any uncivil and 2s violating comments will be removed and subject to a ban. Have a nice day. I am a bot, and this action was performed automatically. Please contact the moderators of this subreddit message compose, to our unpopular opinion if you have any questions or concerns. LOL see the other side of this argument recently on Reddit where someone claimed hair is an unnecessary feature that we should figure out how to breed out since evolution seems to be done with us. They claimed if hair was necessary we would have it all over our bodies, and since we don't, it's not needed at all rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing. I replied by telling them to take a magnifying glass to anywhere on their body and they will find hair. It's amazing what some people believe. It's easy to remove hair. It's easier to let it grow. Neither should be frowned upon. Let everyone just do what they like. Outside of 10-year-old boys, I believe most people know that women naturally have body hair. Question who gives a shit what's natural? I mean first of all everything in the natural universe would be defined as natural. But even in this meaningless colloquial usage that you're going with, who cares? By this logic nobody should ever cut their hair at all or ever trim their beard because that's just as unnatural. In fact you shouldn't even be posting this because phones are unnatural. Appeal to nature fallacies are just not good arguments to make. It's up to personal preference, for example, I'm F20s looking to buy the lawnmower 3.0 by Manscaped for myself because I hate how women's razors don't do the job well, especially because I prefer myself bare down there. I feel more attractive bare, but of course, it's up to personal preference. People seem to misunderstand ARP's point and fail to realize how much stigma there is against body hair. A lot of people truly seem to believe that body hair equals bad hygiene. Reddit's obsession with body hair especially on women is hilarious. Probably its best example of Reddit opinions not being remotely like real life. I only shave when I'm gonna have sex otherwise I let my hair grow out. My skin is very sensitive so I appreciate the protection my body hair gives me otherwise I'm just covered in painful itchy razor burn. I'd rather be a hairy lady than deal with razor burn to keep up with society's standards. A boy stabbed my arm with a pencil because I had hairy arms and am female. There is not really an issue of men being expected to remove body hair luckily. No one's forcing you to shave. I don't understand why people who don't want to shave feel like other people have to stop preferring people who do. The majority has decided, you don't have to follow but they don't have to cater to you. 
I have no issue with adults who choose to do whatever they want with their own body hair, but I agree that we need to normalize all the varieties that exist. Some people have alopecia. They're beautiful, too. Some women have hairy armpits and legs. Good for them. Some men have hair backs and chests. Awesome. Aside from the fact that everyone having no hair ever is a denial of the effects of puberty on the human body, the homogeneous portrayal of hair on humans is boring AF. Or they just get really freaking itchy if they have hair on their bodies. I know I do. To each their own. Both should be accepted. I find the little fuzzes that can be found on the neck and lower back of women to be cute. I like body hair. It looks good on people. That being said, I would not push my preference onto people who like being hairless. I don't bitch about hairless people in media, but I do think we should accept hairy women and people too. It's pretty easy for me. Wife says she likes X trimmed or Y shaved, then I trim or shave it. Everything else is however I want it to be, and I'll do whatever with it regardless of what others do. I get shit all the time from my own mother about me not wanting to shave. We're mammals we're supposed to have body hair and I'd rather not have to constantly deal with cutting myself and razor bumps. I don't really see this happening for men. If it does, it's rare. No reason to add the and men qualifier. Male and female armpit hair is gross as shit ngl. It makes you smell more. I stopped shaving my legs a couple years ago now. I have a bad back and it just hurt too much to keep it up. My husband doesn't have a problem with it, I've actually grown to love it the feeling of a breeze ruffling your leg hair. So fun. And I've never had anyone actually say anything to me about it. No one really cares that much IRL about strangers' body hair. But when it comes to media, people feel entitled to these complete strangers, and think actors and characters should meet their standard of beauty. It's weird behavior. It's really weird to me that the media presents all characters people what have you as essentially having the same grooming routine. Even in the apocalypse. That's what all the hyper smooth skin and straight white teeth and whatever else present, and it's such an immediate call back to reality. I shave my arms. I'm a 36 year old man. Man here I shave my underarms, pubes mostly just when they get long, I get razor burn barard and chest stomach. I do have probably the hairiest legs you've ever seen, and next to no arm hair, but man do I so enjoy not having torso underarm hair. Sweat gets stuck, and it makes it way more difficult for deodorant to actually do its job, if all of it is bunched into pit hair. Absence I just had this conversation with my mother who called me disgusting for having leg hair. I told her that it's my choice, I only wear shorts in my home and I don't like shaving my legs. I do shave under my arms bc I do like the look there but I've never felt like women who don't are gross. The whole smooth skin no blemishes no hair beauty ideal is toxic af. I don't care a bit about the media, and most people should do the same. Who cares about the media? People portrayed in media are not the norm. If your body image is based on people portrayed in media, you should change, not the media. Women shaving their legs and armpits is a relatively new thing. It wasn't normal until the 1920s when shaving companies decided to start a manipulative marketing campaign to get women to start shaving their legs armpits. For which they, of course, needed to buy their products. Body hair will likely make a comeback at some time as more people are getting fed up with the unnatural beauty standards imposed on them by the media and fashion industry. And good, I say. My partner doesn't shave her legs all the time either, and she is just as beautiful with hairy legs. Finally, a post on this goddamn sub that's right. Body hair is natural and good and hot. Let it be. Do whatever you want. I personally will never find hairy armpits on a girl hot. Body odor is also natural, should people stop bathing too? Or eliminate soap? There's nothing wrong with society encouraging personal grooming. And it doubles as a way to see who is too lazy to take even an hour a week to tidy up their appearance. I do remember in Final Fantasy X when Auron is introduced to the main party, 
There's a cutscene where he raises his arm up to reveal a perfectly shaved underarm, took me aback for a sec.